remember me? It's been a minute. So, I am back. A lot of people have been asking me, what happened to Lethal Shutter? Where have you guys been? What have you been doing? Why aren't you shooting anymore? Why aren't you putting videos out? And honestly, the answer to that is, it's been a rough two years. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and get this out of the way. But obviously, we all know COVID happened. Everything changed. Um, racing changed. Uh, just the way we go about our daily lives changed. And uh, I think I think everybody was there. I think we all went through it. It's all how you cope with it. And uh, unfortunately for me, uh, going out and filming just was no longer a priority. Uh, I lost a lot of drive and a lot of passion for what I was doing. And uh, it just had become more like a job than it was you know, going out and making cool content. That's not what I wanted. So I took a step back and I really like, you know, just decided that this wasn't right for me anymore. And I kind of put everything to the wayside. I put down the camera, I stopped doing photography. Like I just stopped everything, anything related to car content. And it just wasn't something that I really wanted to do. Yeah, it sucked. But uh, you know, fast forward a little bit further down the road, uh, I got to a relationship. I won't go into great details, but it didn't end so well. And that challenged my mental health again. And um, yeah, but in that happening, I kind of realized that, you know, life is too short and uh, there's one thing that I've always loved and it's this, it's, uh, it's making car content. And I think I really had just lost the core of what this was all about for me. Yeah, I, I'm ready to start again. I don't know, it just kind of hit me one day. It's like, you know, I had a really good thing going and we kind of lost our way with it and uh, it's just time to start it again. So, now here's the thing with that. So, towards the last couple years with Lethal Shutter when we were really doing everything, I'd kind of gotten away from what I had a passion for anyway, you know, um, and I know a lot of you are very into the no prep scene and the racing scene and a lot of that. A lot of you, that's how you found your way here. Uh, because we did, we were covering all that stuff. You know, it got to a point where it was like, don't get me wrong, I love racing and I love that type of racing, but covering that and traveling around to these races and, you know, filming that stuff, it just was exhausting. And when you make no money doing it and you just constantly are chasing that next race, that next race, it just sucked a lot of the joy out of filming for me and it just made it seem like more of a, a second job that I wasn't getting paid for and it was like why am I doing this man like you know I don't know it's just weird you, you go through life and you think that you're on the path of doing something that you want to do and you, you lose track of that art you lose track of that goal that you know you set out for and I, I just don't want to do that I've never wanted to sacrifice my art for money or monetary value or anything like that, you know. So the thing is, you know, that's what I had done. I'd really sacrificed what I enjoyed and what I found to be art and what I found to be enjoyable about doing this. And uh, I gave up a lot of stuff uh, to really pursue a dream that wasn't what I wanted. Uh, my dream kind of divert it into what Lethal Shutter became and it was two different paths and it just wasn't, you know, wasn't something that I wanted to do anymore. So that being said, why am I here now? Well, I had decided that because I still love this stuff, I love cars, I'll never not love cars, I love the street car scene, I love the car scene in general. I, I will say that I have back way out of the racing scene. I still love racing, don't get me wrong, I still do it myself. And uh, By the way, we're going to have to do a car update too because that thing has changed dramatically since the last time you guys have seen it. Um, I do still have my C6, uh, a lot has changed there. The thing is, I decided that I want to bring this channel back and things are going to be a little different this time. I'm going to only do things that I'm passionate about, that I find, you know, enjoyment in and I'm not gonna just chase something because it seems like a good idea or it'll get views or it'll be good content. I'm gonna, this channel is gonna evolve into something that I always wanted it to be which is more of automotive art. And I know that sounds crazy but like I grew up with shows like Top Gear and you know, just watching the art that goes into filming something like that and the, the beauty of cars and like the true nature of why we like cars and it just I don't know to me that is more about what I want to portray on this channel and 
I want to show what cars are all about, what cars mean to people, what cars mean to me. You know, that's something that I've wanted to chase for a long time, and I finally had the opportunity to do it because I'm not contracted to anybody anymore. I'm not, you know, required to show up at this race or go do this or do that. So the thing is, I can kind of make my own content and do it the way I want to do it. That's exactly what we're going to do. I, I don't have a plan. I have no plan at all. But a lot of you are probably going to ask, like, why, why am I doing this? Why am I even going about this now? Like, why am I going back to it? Well, I just want to make cool shit. I want to make cool car content, and uh, I want to make cool car content that means something to me. And um, I don't really know what that is yet. I don't have a plan. I'm still working on that part. But I have some ideas. Don't get me wrong. I have some ideas. Uh, you're going to see some photography stuff here. Uh, you're going to see some video. Uh, you're going to see some car features still. I, I still plan to do that kind of stuff. I love doing that kind of stuff. You're going to see me working on my own car a little bit. You're going to see uh, my friends working on their cars and it's gonna kind of be still like a vlog style uh but we're also gonna do the cinematic stuff and you know uh there will be some after movies coming up actually I, while we're here i guess i should talk about that too so something that i am stepping back into and that i have taken a big passion in a lot of you may have heard of mustang fest it's a new event for this year my good friend andy howard reached out to me and he said I have something for you. I have a project that I want your help with. I want you to jump in on, into this thing, you know, feet running, and I want you to basically help me out with this. We need a photographer. We need somebody that can do graphic design. And I was like, well, what do you got, Andy? So for the last couple of years, I've gone to Mustang Week with Andy Howard and a bunch of our other friends. and. I know I'm not a Mustang guy, but I hang out with Mustang people, obviously. Um, all my friends have Mustangs. But as a lot of you probably know, Mustang Week is no more after this year. So Andy and some other guys have taken it upon themselves to start putting a new event together for September in Myrtle Beach. And this year is going to be the first year. That event is called Mustang Fest. Um, some of you may have heard of it, some of you may not. But basically what it is, it's going to be a whole week of Mustang filled events at the beach. Um, and not just Mustangs. I mean, it is a Mustang catered event, but it's going to be for everybody. And I mean, if you're a car person, you're going to want to come. Well, Andy came to me and said, I want you to brand this thing for me. I want you to, you know, put the flyers together. I want you to put the logo together, all this stuff. So I agreed. It seemed like a pretty cool idea. You know, I took it on and I'm really glad I did because it's, helped restore some of that passion I have for cars. So one of the projects we have coming up, we're gonna do an after movie for this. By the way, if you're a videographer, I need help. I need people that know how to operate cameras to be down there with us and help us film some stuff. Because we're gonna to put together an after movie, kind of like the ones we used to do for Ocean City. And that was always one of my favorite projects every year to work on. Yeah, that's uh, something that we're gonna see on this channel very soon. And now we need to address the other elephant in the room. Obviously, if you clicked on this video, you've probably seen that the name changed. So we were always Lethal Shutter Productions. And don't get me wrong, technically on paper, we still are. We're still Lethal Shutter Productions LLC. However, I just don't think it fits this channel anymore because we're not really a production company. And uh, that's not what I do anymore. So obviously, we changed the name back just to Lethal Shutter. I think that's what everybody kind of always called us anyway. We were always Lethal Shutter. I have some other good folks that I've been working with with some really cool cars and we're talking about some ideas and some content that we want to put together and I just think this thing's going to be awesome and uh, if you guys are interested I hope you'll stick around I hope you'll kind of check out what we can do here and uh, I promise you soon very soon there's going to be some cool content coming and I don't like I said I don't really have a plan or know what that's going to be yet but I have some ideas and uh, yeah. I hope you guys will stick around for the ride. I know this is kind of a boring video. No, that's kind of why I tried to put some old footage in here just so it wouldn't be completely boring and just me talking for five minutes or however long this is gone. I feel like it's probably gone longer now. But yeah. Thank you guys for listening. If you made it this far, I applaud you. Because uh, I don't even like to listen to myself talk. I hate being in front of a camera. I absolutely hate being in front of a camera. But I love being behind a camera and I I love having this YouTube channel and for all of you guys that have supported us for so long, I appreciate you. Uh, I'll never forget what you guys have done, and you guys are awesome fans. And uh, we're going to try and start bringing you guys some cool stuff again. If you stuck around this long and you remember the, the 
content we put out before. I hope that, you know, I hope that we'll continue to provide that for you. And uh, it's going to be a little bit different, but it's going to be a lot better uh, because I'm going to put my heart and soul into it again. And I'm, I'm you know, we're going to make stuff that we want to make. And I hope that it's stuff that you guys, you guys will want to watch. So you guys have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.